Hi Sight Dishes! Today I'm going to talk about something that people totally are going to disagree with me about and that is the puzzle piece symbol to represent autism and I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. If you want to hear more about my thoughts, stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about the puzzle piece as the symbol for autism. I don't like it, and I really never have. And a lot of people, when I share that, they're just like, what? That's crazy. But I just want to tell you my thoughts about why I don't particularly care for it. So first of all, I don't think that there is any other symbol for a disability that has as much recognition as the puzzle piece for autism except the pink ribbon for breast cancer. I mean, they've done, you know, you see a pink ribbon, you know it's for breast cancer. And so I think the folks with autism, that having a symbol so recognizable is brilliant, but I wish it were something different. Remember, I have a child with autism and he's 29. So we were coming up with autism back in the day where autism was considered, you know, a mystery and there'd be bumper stickers that said, it's not a mystery, it's the mercury. And they thought it was vaccines. And actually the original puzzle piece symbol was actually, you know, it was the ribbon and it was all the puzzle pieces and one was missing. Now that's changed in recent years where it's just all the puzzle piece. But the symbol, the puzzle piece symbol actually goes back to a dad in 1963. So clearly, in 1963, that was before I was born, that was before most parents with autism right now were born, but he was a, a British man and he had a child with autism and he was on like an autism society for children with autism, but in the UK, and he came up with that original puzzle piece. So it's really been around for a long time. It, it wasn't invented by Autism Speaks. So again, when Brad was being diagnosed with autism and he was younger with autism, you know, it was all about, is it the vaccines? Is it uh, the thimerosal in the vaccines? You know, again, is it is it the heavy leads? Is it mercury? And it was always a puzzle piece missing from something. And you know, it was autism is a mystery. What's the missing link? And that really bothered me as a mom because I don't feel like there's something missing from my son. You know, he's my son and he's not a mystery, he's Brad. And that's the same way I feel about all, you know, the people with autism as I know. You know, they are a complete person. There's nothing missing from them. And also, as I think about it, you know, when you think about a puzzle piece, how one puzzle piece is really important. Whether you have a jigsaw puzzle with four pieces in it for a baby or a thousand pieces in it. If one puzzle piece is missing, the whole thing is ruined. It will be thrown away. And so I just have that, you know, kind of thought when I see the puzzle piece. And so, you know, I'll be at events and I'll see a woman and she'll have puzzle piece earrings on and maybe she'll have a child with her or not. But when I see the mom, you know, and who's got a child with her and I can, you know, say, okay, this child clearly has autism, that's the first thing I'm thinking of is like, he has autism. And the, the first thing, you know, like those earrings are saying is his disability, autism. And like, don't tell me about his disability. Tell me about what's awesome about him. Tell me that he loves basketball. Tell me that he can remember everybody's birthday. You know, tell me that flowers and puppies make him giggle. I feel like we're focusing on the negative instead of all the positive. And so if I had to describe my son, the first thing I would not want to say is, well, this is my son, Brad, he has autism. And, and that's, not, that's not how life is. And so um, that's how I feel that this, the puzzle piece has become. It's just become the symbol for autism, but it's, it's just, it's like the diagnosis autism and it's not the whole person. And I have a friend and her daughter recently turned 21 and she wanted to get a tattoo. And so mom was telling me that she thought her daughter was gonna get a puzzle piece in honor of her brother. And I said, no, no, do not get a puzzle piece to honor her brother. Cause the first thing it's gonna say is my brother has autism. 
He loves the Pacers. Get a Pacers tattoo. You know, there are so many things. He loves bowling. Get a bowling ball. Like, so many other things are great about her brother. And to honor him, does it have to be he's got autism? Like, no. It can be so many other things about him that are hysterical. He loves car washes. You know, boy is fascinated and thinks car washes are the greatest thing. Get a drop of water. So many other things. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the puzzle piece and why I don't particularly like it. I wish, you know, we could go back in time and make it, you know, a heart or just, you know, something that encompasses the whole person. And, you know, maybe someday that'll happen. I doubt it because the puzzle piece is so ingrained into our culture now. You see a puzzle piece, you think of autism. At the organization I work at, You'll never see a puzzle piece on any of our materials. And that's just the decision I have made and I get to make it. And you'll see a lot of, you know, other organizations, you see a puzzle piece, you know that they serve people with autism, but that's that's fine. But we serve people with autism and other disabilities. But again, I feel like we serve people. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope that we can all be respectful of each other's opinions. And if you're gonna list your thoughts below, you know, please be kind, please be respectful. Let's all be nice because we're in it together. As always, I post new autism content on Tuesdays and other content on Thursdays about the other side dishes in my life. Thanks for spending time with me and don't stop believing. Bye.